Could you tell us a story about the construction of the current lighthouse? A company out of New York won the contract and they had to demonstrate the fit of all the iron pieces in New York before they were crated up and shipped. So it was assembled in New York and then disassembled, crated up, put on a ship. They sailed to Galveston and they had to build a pier to unload the parts. The original door, we were able to extract the hinges and the back straps, which were still in good enough shape and we're re reusing the original frame. And between the two of those, the whole mechanism really is the original mechanism. But the plate, that makes up the, uh, the door itself was so far gone, you can see some of the rust expansion or rust jacking here. And that iron just keeps delaminating and delaminating until there's no iron left. And it also, that expansion has the capacity to lift tens of tons too. And that's why a lot of buildings get damaged from iron that's trapped and expanding like that. So there was no way you could keep this door on there and just restore it? No, no, it was too, the metal loss was too much. The iron all came from New York and they had to put it together the old way, you know, with the crane that went up as the tower went up and the, the stairs are iron and they each locked together in a sequence of pieces. Quite the jigsaw puzzle. Mm -hmm. It's a brick cylinder that has flying buttresses that protrude out from the central core and then the iron is attached on the outside to the buttresses. So they're mutually supporting. All the weight of the irons pushing in, buttresses sticking out, and it's very strong. 